For the right triangle below, find the length of x to the nearest hundredth. Looking at the right triangle, notice how we are given the measure of this angle here, which is 27 degrees. So the next step, let's determine the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse in relation to the given angle of 27 degrees. Well, the opposite side is going to be this side here with a length of four units. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So because this is the right angle, the hypotenuse is this side here with a length of x units. And the adjacent side to the given angle is the side of the angle that's not the hypotenuse. And therefore, the adjacent side to the angle of 27 degrees is this side here with an unknown length. Because we're trying to find the length of the hypotenuse, and we're also given the length of the opposite side, we will use the sine function to determine the length of x, or the length of the hypotenuse, where sine theta is equal to the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the hypotenuse. And therefore, for the given right triangle, we know that sine 27 degrees is equal to, again, the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which in our case will give us four divided by x. And now to solve for x, let's clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides by x. So we will multiply the left side by x and the right side by x. On the left, sine 27 degrees times x is equal to x sine 27 degrees. On the right, if it's helpful, we can write x as a fraction with the denominator of one. And notice how we have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator. x divided by x simplifies to one, giving us four times one, which is just four. And now to solve for x, we divide both sides by sine 27 degrees. Simplifying, sine 27 degrees divided by itself simplifies to one. X times one is just X. We have X equals four divided by sine 27 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for X. And we are told to round to the hundredths place value. The first step is to make sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing the mode key. And notice how degree is highlighted. If it wasn't, you would use the arrows to go down to degree and then press enter. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And we enter four divided by sine 27. Close parenthesis and enter. Notice how there's a zero in the third decimal place or the thousands place value. And therefore we round down, x is approximately 8.81 units. I hope you found this helpful.